Hi guys, it's Dan and Becky from Bugs on the Windshield. And this week we're going to take you on a road trip with us. Our trip home from the Blue Mesa Reservoir in Colorado, up over the Monarch Pass. Yeah, the Monarch Pass is a pass that goes over the Continental Divide, yeah. which is about 11,312 feet. So it's pretty fun to take the camper over that. Yes, it did a really good job. Dan did a really good job driving, and um, it was a lot of fun and beautiful scenery to boot. So yeah. we'll show you the rest. Yep, here we Stay go. Stay tuned. <laughs> We made it to the saddest day of our vacation, which was the day we headed home. But we took our time, we got up, had some breakfast, and uh, I made a quick drive into Gunnison for some gas in the truck so yeah. we didn't have to stop with the camper. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of big uh, gas stations in Gunnison, so with a camper in the back, it's a little tough to get in and out. Uh, this was actually the longest uh, travel day that we had, I think. Yeah, we were going to be uh, doing about a nine-hour trip today to get to the next uh, campsite. Um, that was so, in Waukini, Kansas. Waukini, Kansas. Kansas, so. yeah. So from the Blue Mesa uh, outpost to Waukini, Kansas. Yeah. And, it, I mean, it, it'll say Google Google time is eight hours, but we have uh, a trailer time is more like ten. So yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit longer, especially since we had a pretty good uh, climb up over the Continental Divide. We had to take our time, and we... Uh, wanted to shoot some video and get some shots of stuff. Really, it was beautiful, I thought. Uh, you know, the trip up, since uh, um, this is 2020, the year of COVID, uh, we didn't stop at the top or anything. We just uh, kept on going, but I did enjoy the scenery a lot. How about you? Yeah, it was really pretty. Um, it's nice to see it now that I can actually look at it. Um, I was more focused on the uh, actual road because there's not a lot of right. uh, <laughs> shoulder. There actually is no shoulder on this road. And uh, so I was well, making sure Well, you can sure see that... the guardrail all, all the way here, which is, I mean, you know, there are some places where people can pull over, I think. There were some, yeah. you know, if you needed to or wanted to or whatever. Yeah, we were fortunate enough to say we had enough uh, power to get up over the Continental Divide and not hold people up because it is just a one lane up with some passing zones. Here's a uh, nice wide spot to pull over to uh, let some people pass or just to take in some of the scenery. Or if you just want to stop and have lunch or something or whatever. Yeah. I'm not sure what we did for lunch. I'm sure we stopped along the way somewhere and uh, I'm pretty sure we made sandwiches or something like that and uh, stopped along the way, probably not on the Continental Divide, <laughs> but somewhere probably past there we stopped and had some lunch and, and probably, uh, you know, we can get in the camper, uh, which makes it nice, you know, for breaks and things like that. Uh, it also, you know, of course, adds to the length of your trip but it's better to be a little bit more uh, relaxed and, and yeah we never really get rested. in a big hurry to get uh, get to our next site because you don't want to be in a hurry take some shortcuts we don't anyway yeah we're, we're, i'm a little too cautious <laughs> yeah we're cautious we don't like you know, we take it easy we just make sure we get there and everything's in one piece right <laughs> especially us we yeah like us. we piece. like to stay in one piece
you can see we're getting close to the top here or i guess they i guess they call it the summit <laughs> yeah we get to the summit here getting close which, to the summit so there's actually a little uh gift shop and a visitor center i guess up there man i wanted to go we were going to stop and then we were like other people were there look there's another camper yeah there was a few people there taking taking a little break from the climb up to the top or from either side basically but yeah. uh, but we didn't know for sure if it was open and what we would were expecting so right we just motored on and just kept on rolling next time next time yeah we'll next stop. time we'll right. stop right and didn't you say you you thought your truck would be relieved to be at the at the top yeah so. my, my truck was probably about <laughs> it, it never really got it started to get a little warm and it was starting to get you know it was working but it it wasn't bad it wasn't bad think, yeah. but uh just glad to get kind of over the top and um, head on the downside head, head on the downside so and that's where we are at this point so now we're just heading on down so other people are bringing their campers you can see so it's yep. pretty pretty easy yeah, the, the new shift of uh, campers are coming in and right the old shift's going out <laughs> yeah we were the old shift going out going home so it's, but i will tell you what though watching just watching this video again and remembering you know what a good time we had and uh how much fun it was it really makes me want to makes me ready to hit the road again yeah yeah we're uh, ready to get out and hit it again so always 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 ready to, <laughs> always go. Ready to go yeah as long as it's the weather is permitted <laughs> yeah yeah but we really did have good weather i'm really glad that we did have good weather on this i mean it was a pretty clear day there wasn't a lot of there wasn't any rain mm -hmm. there wasn't any snow which is a good thing Uh, sign that we just passed says the runaway truck ramp is coming up in a mile and a half or a mile and a quarter or something like that. Yep. Uh, yeah, this they're is, getting closer. <laughs> yeah, there it is. But this is something we do not want to use. No, I don't. I would be. Oh, it'd be awful to have to use something like that. I'd be uh, terrified. Yeah. It was only until we got on these roads in the uh, mountains that we saw a lot of this. And you can see here's the runaway ramp now. Yep. <laughs> uh, and fortunately, nobody had to use it that day. Yeah. My dad was a truck driver. He never, um, as far as I know, never had to use a runaway truck ramp. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing he uh, talked about. So. Yeah. Um, let's check on the trailer, see if it's still back there. 
It's still back there, I'm sure. It's we are kind of. Uh, yep, there it is. Kind of saying goodbye to the mountains. We're yep. kind of down the. We're down the other side now. <laughs> yeah, we're getting down towards the bottom now, and right. getting into the valley. Pretty soon, we'll uh, be coming up on Canyon City, I think. Yep. Maybe. Yep. Oh, yep. <laughs> and here it is. We're. Uh, this is the the ride into Canyon City. Gosh, that is just gorgeous. The river there, and uh, you know the rocks and everything. Beautiful. Just a beautiful place. I remember we followed this car for quite a while. Yeah, he uh, must have been going where we were going. Because, yeah, he's uh, going to our house. <laughs> yeah. we, we followed him all He's the... going to walk to the KOA in Wakini. <laughs> yeah. But I think he finally actually, uh, he was pulling something, and then he finally pulled off like just before Caden City into into town, and so we were able to get around him. But it, uh, we were definitely... We weren't uh, in a like you said earlier though. We weren't in a hurry or anything. We were just uh, he just happened to be up there. He had to be up front of us. And it was really cool to be by the river there some too to watch. I saw some uh, rafters out there and some yeah, people uh, out with their people kayaks and, and their tubing and stuff like that. Little float trips, I guess, and everything. Yeah, it didn't look like a very fast river, but it looked like it was flowing pretty good. Oh, uh, it looks like it was. Yeah, it looked like they, you know, it's a good place to go probably for people in the area just to get out and uh, enjoy some, you know, some of the some, river. Yeah, some water sports out there. Right. There's a wolf pack. <laughs> Still behind us. That's a good thing. Yes, it is. We want it to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like there's a train. We kept seeing this. It goes on and on for miles, it seems like. I guess it didn't look like it was hooked up or anything. I don't it didn't know. didn't like there was any, anything to it, but uh, it did go on for quite a while down the uh, highway here. Right. If you know what that is, let us know, because we don't know. Yeah, we, we didn't we know what. We speculated on it on, at the time. Yeah, we were, we were making up all kinds of stories yes. and, <laughs> in our heads, but uh, yeah. you know, we just kept or seeing it. Or even out loud. <laughs> yeah, out loud, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
is that train still there? <laughs> yep, the train is still there, but I think this is about the end of our excitement uh, for the daytime anyway. We we uh, stopped in um, Colorado Ca- Springs, I Colorado think. Springs to get gas. Got gas, and then uh, we mm-hmm. headed on out to Joaquini for uh, our last uh, overnight before yep. we headed home. Before we headed home, right. so... And it was pretty exciting. We got to the campground, and uh, they yeah. they took us to our spot, which is always nice. And we got hooked, got up, hooked and up, and we didn't unhook the truck or anything. Or yeah, anything. we knew we were going to be leaving pretty early that yeah. morning. It was good to be uh, in our spot for the night. And Dan went out to get something from outside and came back in and said, grab the camera and come outside. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, it wasn't raining, but you could see the lightning off in the distance. Very cool. And it was very cool just yeah. to sit there for... A couple of minutes just just getting some shots of the the uh, lightning yeah i thought that was really neat yeah. yeah good way to end our our trip i think yeah. didn't exactly get up early but uh we're getting ready for our last leg home yep it's time to go home <laughs>